Good morning, everybody. Good morning. First of all, this morning, <clears throat> as we get started, I'd like to acknowledge uh, some council members who are with us this morning. <clears throat> we have someplace here, we have council member Josh McKern, council member Bill Farmer, and we may have others who join us, we'll see. Um, <clears throat> also joining us this morning are Van Meter Pettit. I have to point them out, you know, we're all masked. So Van Meter is a longtime advocate for trails in our community. And our staff members, Brandy Peacher uh, and Keith Lovin. Keith, do you want to stand up with us? <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> share the share the wealth, right? Uh, Brandy and Keith are managing these trail projects for our city. And so welcome to a beautiful day in downtown Lexington. And yes, we have a little traffic next to us, but we'll work around that. And as you look around downtown, you see lots of construction. And that equals progress for our city. <clears throat> In fact, trails are busting out all over downtown. The trail plans we've been working on for decades are really coming together this summer. Construction on Town Branch Commons, <clears throat> the Legacy Trail, and Town Branch Trail completes 22 miles of uninterrupted trails that will take cyclists and walkers from Lexington's urban core into the beautiful bluegrass and beyond. These trails will bring exciting new opportunities for our citizens to get outside and to get exercise. And so this morning, I wanna talk briefly about each trail under construction. Town Branch Commons Trail features continuous bike and walking paths. <laughs> A lush green band through downtown, it will connect new and exciting parks and diverse neighborhoods and will improve our water quality. Plans for the trail's construction call for tripling the number of trees along Vine Street here and Midland Avenue. You can watch the progress. Right now, contractors are finishing up work on Newtown Pike and starting work on Vine Street. These renderings that we have up here particularly this one next to me, give you an idea of what Vine Street and Midland Avenue will look like after construction is complete. And completion is anticipated by the end of 2022. Now let's talk about the Legacy Trail. This is our longest trail. The final two miles are under construction from 5th Street at Jefferson to the Isaac Murphy Memorial Art Garden at 3rd and Midland. It's expected to be completed by this September. The Legacy Trail offers opportunities to enjoy the bluegrass landscape that has made us world famous. It stretches from downtown to the Kentucky Horse Park. And finally, the Town Branch Trail. Work started on this trail in 2005 and we've been chipping away at it piece by piece. It will connect downtown to the distillery district, McConnell Springs, and Masters and Station Park. Along the way are historic sites, neighborhoods, and parks. The trail follows the westward course of the town branch of Elkhorn Creek. Right now, 
There's a 1.2 mile section under construction stretching from Oliver Lewis Way to Forbes Road. That construction is expected to be complete by this December. We have Van Meter Pettit with us today, and Van has been working hard on this trail since the very beginning. And I, in remembering 20, now 21 years ago, when I first started on council, Van was one of the first people I met with to find out what this Town Branch Trail was all about. So Van, I'll welcome you to the podium and tell us a little more about Town Branch Trail. Welcome. Thank you so much, Mayor. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, if the Town Branch Trail Project were a child, uh, they'd be graduating from college right now. <laughs> I am uh, really grateful to live in a city that embraces improbable visions. Uh, it, is, it is really what makes us a very special place in the world. When I was old enough to start asking a lot of difficult questions, I said, why is Lexington located where there is no major waterway, a condition nearly unique in the whole country? Uh, it's a question I found hard to answer despite growing up here and being surrounded by people steeped in our history. And the answer is it came from improbable vision. Uh, in 1775, uh, uh, some hunters stopped in what they thought was, uh, you know, a little slice of heaven. And getting the news of the American Revolution, they named this place Lexington. And, it, you know, it was nothing more than a, than a narrow creek corridor and buffalo trails uh, that had been carved by herds uh, crossing the landscape. And yet these early pioneers had the vision to, to make this a place. And that's, we're standing upon that vision today. Um, and from that vision, Lexington became a frontier town laid out on this small creek that's now buried under our feet. Uh, the town branch of, of the Elkhorn and our first commons, which was a term for a public park, uh, was laid out along its banks where the first social space for the city and place to race horses was located. Basically, it was the first natural living room of Lexington was the town branch, and the whole city was laid out on its banks. When we soon outgrew it, we built mills and factories and distilleries and warehouses along its banks, and we soon outgrew the creek and we built a railroad, which once again was an improbable vision because we were a very small village and railroads were in its absolute infancy. We were one of the very first railroads in the entire country built here along this corridor. And then there came a time when we outgrew both the railroad and the creek. But the stones and the bricks and the street and the trees around us bore witness and the vision persisted. With more improbable vision, Lexington in uh, the, the early 50s created the first urban growth boundary in the nation because we were so in love with the land that first drew us here that we thought it was worth protecting. That took a very improbable vision for the time when we were paving everything and everything was about the car. Uh, about 20 years ago, <laughs> as <laughs> Madam Mayor has said, we started another improbable vision. We decided that despite it, our humble origins, that that little creek called the Town Branch that our whole city was laid out on was worth remembering and it was worth reorienting and re-engineering our city to this creek corridor so that people and bikes and you know, shade trees watered by the creek could be redeveloped. And that's what we're celebrating today. After 20 years of advocacy and vision embraced by a wonderful city, this is what we're doing now. And there are way, way too many people to thank that have contributed to this. 
Um, but what I want to give thanks to today on this hot patch of asphalt is that we are a city of improbable visions yet today. We have invited international artists to come here and capture the sounds gurgling under our feet of, of our creek. We've had international competitions with, with internationally renowned designers and engineers to come here and help us revision the Town Branch Corridor. So we have a MacArthur Genius Grant recipient who's the head of urban design at Columbia University assisting our vision in how we reclaim the flora and fauna of our bluegrass and draw a sliver of that pristine landscape back into our city so that we can reconnect with that landscape and with this historic heritage. And I am so grateful to the whole city and to, I think it's been about eight or 10 councils now and you know six mayors and, and countless governors. There has been a long list of people who could have laughed at this vision, this improbable vision, but they said, why not? And there are innumerable problems that are still, by Brandy and Keith and so many other people, being wrestled out and the knots are being unraveled to, to solve problems, to make this a continuous corridor. But it's being done because we have a bedrock of vision and a spirit of generosity in this city. And I'm really, really grateful for this day. Thank you. Thank you, Van. <clears throat> you know, it's hard to recognize people behind masks, but I believe we have Council Member Ellinger here. And if you'd like to join us, well, thank you for coming. Um, next up, I'd like to uh, introduce our Director of Project Management, Brandy Peacher, who will say a few words. Brandy? Hi, good morning. Thank you, Mayor, for setting the stage. Thank you, Van, for telling us the history and for all your support. And I'll try to be brief because I know we're all melting out here on this asphalt. But no wonder that mask, I've been smiling ear to ear as we've been standing up here. But as you've just heard, Lexington is aspiring to create a people-first, family-friendly downtown that's welcoming to all. And I'm excited to celebrate the construction of all three of these projects today because they add to that vision. Today is a milestone moment for this, this critical infrastructure in our city's downtown parks, public spaces, and trail systems. When these public space projects are, when they were started years ago, we knew there would be benefits. That was no doubt in our mind as we started them. But now more than ever, in light of our current environment, we see how our community is relying on public spaces for our physical and mental well-being. And this network of projects will offer new opportunities for our community once they're completed. I'm honored to stand here today and discuss these three projects, but as you know, there are many people that have helped make them happen. Many that we can't say, uh, stand and name today, but they're standing around you, they're inside these buildings, and they're throughout the community. But I do want to recognize our Division of Engineering, Director Doug Burton and Project Manager Keith Lovin for their leadership and oversight of the Legacy Trail and Town Branch Trail. Years in the making, as you've, you've seen, um, the designs and their concepts constant leadership and determination is getting us to a completed product. But let me take a moment to recognize uh, their teams. For the Legacy Trail, uh, the team was led by Strand Associates, and they had support from sub-consultants Land Story, EHI, Louis Guida, 2020 and 2020 Land Survey. For the Town Branch Trail, Phase 6, again, the team was led by Strand Associates with the subconsultants MKSK, Land Story, Wood Environmental, Cultural Resource Analyst, and Louis Guida. Today, this group is helping guide the final design details as construction along these corridors occur. The Legacy Trail construction is being done by Pace Contracting, who's also here with us today. They have been hard at work since April, with a project completion later this fall. Construction for the Town Branch Trail, Phase 6, uh, 
is getting started by ATS Construction and work will be through the end of this year. PACE and ATS both thank you for your hard work thus far and we look forward to being on those trail systems soon. The last project that we'll talk about, as you already know, is the Town Branch Commons. This one's near and dear to my heart. I've been part of this project since its conception and lucky enough to come back now during the, the construction. I look forward to the next few years as we take this vision from the drawing board to the streets. The Town Branch Commons, as the mayor has already described, is an innovative public space project that will result in social, economic, and environmental benefits to Lexington. It took cross-sector partnerships, and let me recognize some of those today. Our program management team, who has who's helped keep us on track through this whole project, was led by AECOM. They had subconsultants Scape Landscape Architects, who were the masterminds behind the conceptual design for Town Branch Commons. Also subconsultants Lord Act Sargent, Lochner, BTM, Third Rock, and Bullhorn. And the design engineering team, who took that concept and now has made it a buildable project and bringing it to life, is led by Gresham Smith, with their subconsultants Strand Associates, Element Design, BA Engineers, EHI, and Thielen. These two teams, along with our construction manager, Bart Bryant, will help us through construction. I appreciate all you've done. Pace Construction, again, is our lead for, con contracting, uh, for constructing this project. Pace started on Newtown Pike earlier this year, and they are killing it. They are moving along really well, and as you heard, they'll be on Vine Street starting next week. Pace, thank you for all your high-quality work you've done so far. We look forward to seeing the town branch come to life under your watch. Lastly, I do want to acknowledge our local, state, and federal funders. It did include uh, funds from our local Fayette County Urban County Government, as well as the Kentucky Infrastructure Authority with a green infrastructure loan, and an array of grants from the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet and the Federal Highway Administration. Without those and without the Tiger Grant that you've heard of, the first in Lexington, a federal grant, we would not be able to make this possible. So thank you for letting me take the time to acknowledge those folks. And and I look forward to seeing you all again in a few years for a ribbon cutting for the Town Branch Commons. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Brandy. And um, I, I want to thank everybody in our community, folks like Van and Keith Lovin, who've been working on these trails for years and years. And it's really exciting to see them finally come to fruition. And before we take questions, I just want to thank everybody for wearing masks. Every single person here has a mask on. Thank you for that.